Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're checking out a new game, it's called Project RTD Random Tower Defense VR. And the reason why I'm checking this game out today is because these guys dropped a load of free keys in my Discord yesterday. Really, really generous of them, so I decided to return the favor. I'm going to check the game out. So let's dive in. Okay guys, here we are on the main menu. And this game is in early access, so let's start the game. Okay, we've got challenge mode, tutorial, towers, settings, quit the game, player info. Okay, let's have a quick look at these settings. Okay, just sound in the settings menu. So we're going to jump into the tutorial. Okay, tutorial one, tutorial two. Press the trigger button. Okay, wow. Okay, we've got a really nice diorama in front of us here. Something exploded there. That's the starting point. Okay, we're in the clouds. Okay, tower build. Move the point to the empty tile and build a tower by clicking the trigger button. Building a tower requires 100 gold. Okay, so this is standard um, tower defense type mechanics. If you've played a tower defense game, guys, before, you'll know what you're doing here. Really simple, really easy to do. While holding the grip button, move to the left or right to rotate the tower and front and back to magnify. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we can actually move the world around with the, um, with the, uh, the button there, the trigger button or the grip button. Build six towers on the tiles with a yellow square. Okay, so this is like a tutorial square here, so do we click on it? Okay, that's really cool. We've got like an anime character. And this is a Korean game, guys, so lots of anime in this uh, experience. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, and one more somewhere, if I can find it. There we go. So the idea with tower defense games is you get a wave of enemies coming around here and they're trying to blow your crystal up here a lot. So you have to build these towers everywhere to try and stop the enemy from reaching the crystal. And you upgrade your turrets, that sort of thing. It's really, really fun, a fun concept. Okay, where did that menu go? Oh, okay, here come the enemies, look. We've got to stop these guys from getting to the crystal. These towers are destroying them. Tower merge. Okay, so if two same towers exist, you can simply merge them by clicking the trigger twice to merge the selected tower with the closest one. This is a Korean game, guys, so the translation's a bit a bit messed up at the moment. If you selected a tower, then selected another, same one. An upper grade tower will be built on which the secondly selected tower was placed. Build upper grade towers four times by merging two towers. Okay. So we need to upgrade this one. Okay, is that upgraded now? So I need to do three more. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing, but I've just merged these towers. So the enemy will be coming in through now. 
Also komm. That was easy. Next. Some hidden missions and boss missions appear when you achieve a specific condition. Check the missions panel on the upper right corner and complete the missions. Okay, so mission merge towers five times. Okay, so that's the tower I'm using. That's the tower of my controller. Her name is Trish. Okay, she's now merged lock. Well, that works. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I've got you. So, if I've got the same two tourists, if I've got the same characters on here, I can merge them both together. That's what it means. Okay, so let me um, try on here a lot. So, if I build a tower here, build one here. I can now merge these two together by clicking on this one. There we go. So that's now a stronger tower. We need to do one more. Let's do one more on here. Ah. Okay, that one came from up there. Okay, good job. Okay, incoming bad guys. There we go. And this game's got lots of anime style quality to it with the graphics and the animations and everything. Okay, so gold monster, click the summon button and summon a gold monster once every 20 seconds. If you defeat the gold monster, you can acquire additional gold. When defeated, the gold monster will get a level and be harder to defeat next time. Okay. On my left is like a, a menu and I can summon the gold monster there, look. Okay, we have a gold monster. Oh, he's fast. Yeah, we did it. I really do like this concept, guys, and I'm a big fan of tower defense games I play uh, defense grid all the time okay upgrade you can call the upgrade menu through the upgrade button on your trap pad which is on my right look you can upgrade the towers by faction you own and upgrade them tactically check how many towers by faction you own and upgrade them tactically open the upgrade menu and upgrade Union faction five times. Okay, so let's try and upgrade this um, tower here. I'm going to select her. Move the uh, right thumbstick to the left to upgrade. Um, and it said to upgrade to the Union five times. One, two, three, four, five. Gold mine. 20 chance of gaining 20 gold when attacking the character. Okay, boss round. Incoming boss. Can I summon the gold one as well? I've got the gold one and the boss. I'm uh, getting a bit ahead of myself, aren't I? Okay, that might have been a bad idea. Kill the boss, come on. Kill it. Okay, I think we failed. I spent too many resources killing the gold one there. Using tower item, you can call the tower menu through the tower button on the trap pad. You can place the tower item acquired from missions and clearing boss monsters.
Place the tile on the tile you want by using tile item. Open the tile menu and use a rare tile item which is the pink ones. Okay so if I move the uh, thumbstick to the right I need to select one of these pink ones. I think she's available look. There's one there. Okay I'm going to put her right near the top to defend the boss. This is one of those games that might seem a bit complicated at first but once you once you get into it really really easy and simple. As you can see I'm struggling slightly with the uh, tutorial. I'm still getting into grips with the uh, tower mechanics of the game. You can sell a selected tower and get golds through the sell button on the trap pad. Some tower skills are activated when sold. Alright so she's got like an emergency kit and he's got like a go hunt. Sell two towers okay. So if I sell the one I just made. Okay so I push up on the thumbstick to sell and if I sell her look I get um, I gain five life. So my crystal gains life. Let's sell her. Okay. So you can um, choose what tile you want to sell. Let me sell one of these. Sell this one. Pride. If there are no magic towers other than rays, damage and skill damage of this tower increases by 200%. So this tower defense game has got a lot, a lot of depth. Okay, incoming monsters. Oh, that was powerful. Yeah, there's a lot more depth to this tower defense than you do a normal tower defense game. Last round for the first tutorial. Protect the crystal from the enemies. Okay, check. Let's build some towers. Let's put a few on here. And we'll merge these two. And we're going to upgrade this one. Let's try the uh, Demix. Spending all my gold. Level 10. Okay, uh, let's pop you up near the top to protect the crystal. I've got a feeling with the tutorial you're not limited to how much gold. I think in the full game you will be limited to how much gold you've got. Wow look at that. A devastation inflicts 750 plus 375 splash damage. Okay, so this um, turret does splash damage. Okay, tactical withdraw. This one slows them down. Poison spitter. Okay. So lots of different varieties in towers, guys. You've got towers that slow them down. You've got towers that spawn and spit poison slowly poison the bad guys over time okay let's do this let's start and we're going to summon a gold one as well okay summon a gold one We did it. Tutorial end. Okay, that was really enjoyable. <laughs> this guy's still making his way to the uh, crystal up. Okay, let's end the tutorial. Let's move on to the second tutorial.
Okay, tutorial two, practice game. Okay, so we're in the practice game. It's important understanding and practicing 30 towers characteristics. So there's 30 towers to choose from. Understand each tower's characteristics by spending golds. Use tower item and learn the basic game rules. Build six towers. Okay, well I'm going to put one right at the start here. I'm going to put one round here. One here. I'm going to spread these out for now. So I've got a nice spread of um, defense. Wow, okay, this is like a teleport here, look. So the bad guys are going to go through the teleport up here. And I'm going to put two more towers up here to defend the top of the crystal. And these are just basic towers for now, guys. Round one starts. Okay, let's see how my towers do against the first wave of the monsters. It should start out relatively easy. Okay, that one's shooting poison. Did you see the uh, poison effect on the ground? Okay, she's got like a melee. Okay, that's like a sniper one. Okay, we did it. Okay, so we defended the tower before the bad guys got onto the next tier. Most maps have elevators and switches to manage. Utilize it to defend your base from the waves of monsters successfully. So that's a switch. How does that work then? Okay, oh that's interesting. So I can build a tower on here. And then if too many enemies come through here, I can press this button lock and place the towers above me for extra defense that's a really that's something I've never seen done in a tower defense game so I'm going to build lots of turrets on here and these two are the same so we're going to merge these two so that's more powerful okay portals make your enemy hard to defend check the portals location and its color Activate the elevator with a switch. So basically I need to put turrets on these corner pieces. Okay, the wave started already. To defend on the higher tiers. If any of these get through to the teleport, I hit this button and I get some added defense above me. But we made it. We didn't need to use the elevators. I'm still going to put some turrets on here. Again, I think I've got limited um, coins. I think in the uh, normal game, you're limited to how many turrets you can build. Okay, let's merge these ones. Now defend your base against the monsters until around 20 based on what you've learned. Okay, so now we're going to get a wave of 20 monsters. Let's do this. Okay, let's summon the gold one first. Let's get some bonus cash going. Hope they can kill this one. Yep, he's dead. Okay, we did that one successfully. And these types of games are really addictive, guys. In VR, they're in 3D, they look amazing. Okay. Okay, we're now on round four. The first three rounds were just the part of the tutorial. Okay, we've got good defense here. I do like all the AOE damage there. Okay, I'm going to build some more. This boss has no skill. Okay, incoming boss. 
Let's uh, build up some really good tower defense on here. Okay, upgrade. Okay, kill the boss. I don't know if you can pause the game. So I don't know if you can plan your towers before the each wave. Okay, he's down. The boss is dead. I'm going to spawn another monster while we wait. And we're going to upgrade these. Upgrade. I'm just going to upgrade this character here. Look. Level 10, level 12. I can see the progress in the background as well. It's really cool. Okay, so merge this one. Moral boost. I'm just clicking buttons. I'm just upgrading everything. You will need to put a lot more time and effort into picking the best towers for this game. Okay, we survived that wave. Where's my character gone? We're doing loads of damage here at the beginning, guys. I think I can cheat here. I can just uh, keep upgrading these characters. Upgrade. I'm just clicking the buttons on these. It's working though. They're killing the uh, killing the bad guys a lot. Okay, a few got through there, so they're getting a bit harder now to kill. Let's spawn another gold one. That was easy. Boss round. We've got incoming boss. Upgrade. Yeah, these guys are super powerful. Let's go for another gold monster. I do like these characters. I like how... Alright, if I move my hand, I can actually see the screen better. So this looks like a really deep thinking tower defense game. If you like your tower defense games, I can see people having hours and hours of fun. What's this one look? She got like a shield. Okay, so far we're in no real danger. My uh, towers are taking out the bad guys quite nicely. I'm going to put towers on all of these. I'm going to max everything out for maximum defense. Here they come. There is something really satisfying about tower defense games. And they are really, really addictive. This is really, really well done. It's really unique as well as it's got the three dimensional space. And it's got a really, really cool anime theme. Okay, the monsters are getting a lot harder now. They're starting to get a lot further up the the tower. Okay, let me um, just max these out. So these are my last line of defense here. Yeah. 
Incoming boss. Okay, he made it through the teleport. Quick, press the button. Can we do it? Can we do it? Okay, we made him go down. That's good. Okay, he's stuck on there now. Oh, he's reached the crystal. That's not good. Okay, we need to put um, defences on here, guys. The boss hit the crystal. That's not good. So now, as you can see, this is where you need to start to plan your best defense. Okay, I noticed earlier, if I merge these two here, look, I'll actually lose this character off the... Um, there, look. So I need to place a new one on there. few got through again. And we need to make sure this is defended here. I do like the um, the scale of this and I do like the concept. I like how you can teleport to the top of the platforms. What's this thing over here though? What's this big giant crystal thing here? Look, can you see? What is this? Defend! Okay, my crystal got hit there. Uh, where's my crystal energy? I don't know how to see how much life I've got my crystal, guys. Is that my health there? I've got 17 health. Okay, let's merge these. Let's get some really powerful troops up here. So these guys are now making it to the top of my tower. So we need to defend when they go up here. Look. Okay. Let's merge these two. I still don't know how this upgrade system works to be honest. I'm just pressing everything. Look, everyone's upgrading. And this is making them more powerful. Lots of enemies now. The game's running super smooth. Okay, have I got special towers I can use as well? Okay, defend the top. Saved. Okay, let me try. Okay, let me sell this tower. Boss round, and let's put uh, one of these ones on here, lot with the numbers on. Okay, the boss is really hard now. Oh, the uh, towers above are shooting down as well. That's cool. Up we go. Build one on here.
Can we do it? Can we kill the boss before he gets to the crystal? Okay, is that my health? 17? Yes. We did it! 2 2 ended. Okay. I survived with 7 health, guys. That was really cool. Okay, let's try. Let's try a game. Okay, part 1 Advanced Party. Play with normal and magic tiles only. So we've got different types of modes to choose from. Challenge mode. Towers. Okay, this tells you all about your towers. Attack speed. And this has got 30 towers, guys. For a tower defense game, that's really impressive. Most tower defense games, you get up to like 12 towers. This has got 30 unique towers and they're all like anim characters like this guy. Okay, go back to challenge mode and we're going to start level 1. We've got some high scores, some people here with high scores, look. So let's jump into the first mission. This feels super polished, it looks amazing, super sharp and clear on the Rift S. Okay, so I'm on a time limit already, look. Okay, we've got some challenges here, don't be picky, own six different towers. Together, merge 20 towers and patience is a virtue, own three of the same magic towers. This is a moving tower. Not enough gold, okay. I was correct. I don't have enough gold yet, guys, to build any more towers. So you really have to plan your attack. This is round one. Can I kill a boss while we're waiting? Can we kill the gold one? Every time you kill an enemy, you get some gold. I'm going to start putting turrets on the top. So when you first start the game, it's a massive um, place in turrets in strategic positions around the area to try and get the maximum damage at the start. Try not to clump all your turrets together. Put one here a lot. Okay, that's my gold there. I've got 100 gold and it costs 100 gold per tower. Okay. I guess ideally it would be an idea to put them on these um, on the elevators first. That way I can activate the elevators. So we're going to start putting the towers on the elevators first guys. That way we've got added defense when we use these lot for the high tiers. I can afford two turrets. This is loads of fun. Uh, this is a game I'm going to recommend on Steam. I'm going to give it my Steam Creator recommendation. Okay, let's move the uh, towers up. Defend the second part. I could do with some towers on here. Once you've played the game for quite a while and you know how each tower works, let's summon the gold one. 
you'll be placing towers down you'll know exactly what they all do okay so this should give me extra gold when it dies I need to bring the towers back down I forgot okay we have a boss as well can these guys kill this good job good job okay so get ready to move the towers up for the boss there we go we've got 100 gold I can build another tower on here we did it nice job we killed the boss okay so I'm going to upgrade all my lifts first elevators that one we need to bring these down as well the uh, controls are really instinctive guys once you get used to it I've got 600 gold now so I can build I need to merge 20 towers There we go. That worked. Okay, let's summon another one. We're going to try and merge some of these guys. We need to do 20. Merge these. These guys are going to do a lot of damage, they've merged quite a few times. Okay, these are leveling up a lot. These types of games can offer you hours and hours of fun. Really, really addictive. Okay, why is she flashing? What's her special thing? let's go hunt okay so she's got piercing arrow which does 80 damage increase critical attack rate of towers so if I sell her I do get a critical increase okay lots of enemies coming in no they need to go down I do hope this game's got the uh, feature to make mazes. Tower defense games and mazes are superb. Okay, I messed that up totally. Just in time, I just saved the uh, crystal there. A lot of tower defense games allow you to build mazes so that you can... Basically, you can make a route for the enemies to travel down, which allows you to make some really interesting tower placements and defense routes I do hope this game has got that later on that would make this probably the perfect tower defense game okay bring my guys back down I'm trying to keep an eye on which turrets and sections are doing the most damage so that I can uh, use that to my advantage for example these two guys are really powerful up so I can merge these get these guys really powerful okay incoming boss he's tough I'm going to spawn a gold one, gold monster. I've been playing this game about 20 minutes now and as you can see I've already picked it up. 
and it can only get better from here I can only learn you'll learn look at that look at the damage on these two guys okay you guys are my defense so I'm going to bring them up now also a really nice feature would be if the developers gave you a gun in your left hand so you can actually shoot them as well I don't know if you guys know of a, a tower defense game called Sanctum in Sanctum it's like this it's a tower defense but you have a gun as well and you can actually shoot the bad guys with a gun now imagine that in this game as well that'd be really cool okay let me um, make sure there's turrets on all these I would like to see a lot more variety in the enemy as well. We seem to have a, a generic set of enemies. I would like to see different types. But like I said, this game's in early access, so it's got a lot of potential. One on here. Oh, wrong button. Oh, that was close. These guys saved my crystal there. Okay, let's upgrade these guys. Uh, tower, let's go for... What have we got? Okay, upgrade. Okay, we've completed the missions upgrade. We just need to merge 20 towers now to complete our objectives. Bring these guys up. Okay, I've got a really good defense here, so I'm just going to concentrate. I'm merging my towers now. I need to do um, 10 more. And you can use both hands to um, turn the table around a lot. And for you guys new to VR watching this for the first time, you're watching this on a flat screen, it's two dimensional. I'm playing this in a 3D world. I'm in this world. It's three-dimensional. Uh, this uh, diorama has got depth and length and height and weight and everything. This is really awesome. Okay, we'll merge these two. Okay, we can merge this one. I like how they just drop down from the... Uh, where they've been placed before. The animation is superb. The art style is superb. The sound effects. Look at these guys up close. Okay, get ready to move the uh, towers up. If you've got a VR headset, if you like tower defense games, this is a no-brainer. And again, a big thank you to the developers for dropping three keys into my Discord for you guys to give away. In my Discord, there is a section called Key Giveaways. And last night, the developers dropped some keys in there. A really, really nice gesture. So again, thank you, developers. 
Okay, they need to come back down. Try to maximise all your defence positions with turrets. I missed these two, there's two here, look. So this would make for a really good um, AoE section. So if you put some AoE towers in here, they would do a lot of damage on this square here. Okay, this uh, boss looks like he's going to get through. Runway 15. If this gets to the crystal, he's going to do a lot of damage. Come on, guys, kill it. Kill it, kill it. He's really tough. Can we do it? Can we do it? Are these powerful enough? No. Challenge success. Is that game over? Okay guys, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to uh, play some more. Bye.